there's a there's a history and like a, a tension, isn't there, between the kind of industrial and especially governmental development of, of cryptography and this kind of uh, more renegade, you know, cypherpunk and or just random amateur cryptography tradition. Uh, but obviously, that branching happened with good reason around the same time as the advent of public key cryptography that we were earlier discussing, you know, in let's say the 1970s and into the 1980s. That's when it really kicked off. And, uh, you know, the, you had a flourishing of development of ideas in universities, but you also had little groups of people just starting to congregate on the internet, like the cypherpunks who were just realizing that there's something here and that they, there's no real way anyone can stop them doing whatever they want with it. Um, so I forgot what you exactly asked though. I'm, ah, oh, yeah, not rolling your own crypto. So. So then, then you have people in that tension. It's natural that phrases like that would arise, and and you know, especially I suppose in the nineties when it started to become clear that this was going to get used not just in government departments or, or militaries, but it was going to get used in in corporations and in in, in the broader internet as it developed. Uh, then you could see why that that phrase would start to crop up because um this stuff is highly counterintuitive uh, uh or maybe i should better say it's unintuitive not counterintuitive like there's a lot of things about the way cryptography works that you don't immediately see and it's very difficult to like analyze and critique your own algorithm if you've developed an algorithm it's it's essentially you need like other experts hopefully or at least other people to to sort of vet it and investigate it and, and look at it from an attacker's point of view because that's sort of very counter to human nature to sort of look at something as a as almost like a criminal or an attacker. Um, not many people have that skill. So it's difficult to come up with these things. It's difficult to understand like intuitively how they work. It's difficult to understand how they might be attacked. So it's just overall a very fraught thing to come up with any kind of cryptographic algorithm or, or one using cryptography um so it's an entirely logical and sound sort of uh what's the word um intention um behind that phrase don't roll your own crypto but of course in, in intrinsically if you just take it at face value it's not actually logical or correct is it because somebody has to actually make things um and if the implication is only a few members of a specific you know priest caste or you know, only the anointed by certain you know, uh, university departments and or government departments are the only ones who are allowed to do this, then that's just obviously nonsense. Um, so there's a, there's some kind of tension there. On the one hand, it's clearly correct. And on the other hand, um, uh, it's clearly not advice that can be followed absolutely. I recommend, uh, I'm reminded of uh, Greg Maxwell's uh, talk on this topic, and he used the phrase, abstinence only cryptography to describe this attitude which i thought was very funny because <laughs> it was it was the idea of you know like there's some movement in maybe it was in the states you know to, to 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 argue that children you know should be taught abstinence only you know don't have sex before marriage under any circumstances and and it's just you know it was laughed at because obviously it's not realistic you know you're not going to stop teenagers from doing what teenagers do um and so similarly he was saying like this is just like abstinence only cryptography you can't people have to use cryptography uh, people have to interact with it, and to a, my, to a greater or lesser extent, that involves coming up with algorithms or sub algorithms. You know, you're actually interacting with it. You can't pretend that every person who isn't like at the top of the university department is never going to make up their own algorithms. But on the other hand, you know, it is a valid point that it's an extremely dangerous and difficult thing to get involved in. So, two sides.